All right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. Henry Cejudo. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Khabib Nurmagomedov's looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbula Magomedov, in the corner of Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov, ready to make a statement here tonight. the take now for this lightweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Henry Triple C. Zahurda! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! One of the best in the business, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle, Habib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Oh, effective strike there from the clinch by Cejudo. Oh, nice judo toss for him there. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack up and going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, huge knee to the head. Oh, nice knee, nice knee. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Head movement, slip there. Oh, nice left hook. All right now, Khabib Nurmagomedov in the clinch. He makes it. Oh, pop up the judo toss there. It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. Dars, yep, trying to hit the Dars here. That Dars choke is tight. He's gonna go to sleep. 
It's over. It's work. I'm going to stand this up. Oh, he got out. He did a great job of getting his hips away and getting back to his back in order to defend that star shoot. The young belly gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Cejudo getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Now he's going full mount. Under 97. Oh, no! Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Oh, good defense, yes. Work, guys, come on. Under a minute now to go. He's got to be careful here. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Nicely done. Nermago Medos round and pound from half goal. Waning seconds here of this opening round. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Nice work. Non stop punches. That's what I like to see. This next round, we want even more. Mix up your strikes a little bit. Be unpredictable. Don't let. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round Ready two. Fight. Habib Nurmagomedov Ready. and Henry yeah. Sahu. Another big moment here for your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. Human being fair, but this guy just doesn't seem to matter. Stuffs that takedown attack without issue. Oh! All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big moves. They're right. very excited. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nervago Meta. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Now to go in round two. Nermako Medovs in half guard. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Cejudo's back in full mount. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. 
Cejudo's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, big shots from the top. Ten minutes in the books. does go down there. I want you on top. So look for your scrambles. Look for your sweeps. Look for your reverses. Good All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Needs a jab there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. Takedown. He passes to half guard. The Olympic gold medalist Cejudo grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Cejudo's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Nice positional control here. Three minutes to go in round three. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrift, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Print the shirts, ground and pound. All right, feet on the hips here. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Nermago Meta. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Single collar tie there. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, oh, hip toss to get him down. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the ever improved Henry Sahu. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Sahudo's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, he got to the spot. Final seconds of round three. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Let's recover, relax, shake it off. Forget that last round. This round, you're really going to set up those takedowns. I want you to be... All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship.
championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Gets to the single column time. The follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! oh effective strike from the clinch there by Sobi. Right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Trying for a submission now. He's got the sub locked in. Somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be careful here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. 90 seconds to go. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Cejudo's right back to the full mount. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Cejudo. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and chase the finish. Let's work. Come on, I'll stand up. Let's work. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his moment to swing himself back hey, to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. Put the pressure on him. Don't give him an opportunity. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you see two high-level grapplers going after it. One guy gets an advantage. The you other ready? guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to get that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. That shot landed oh, perfect. Mm, nice. This is a terrible position. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Khabib's got the full mount. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. from the top here by Namago Medov. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Now he's got a good body position, yup. 
Cejudo's in half court. Side control. Oh, right to the mouth. Mm, that was nice. Nermanko Medovs right back to the full mount here. Adjustment, yep. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. This is where he wants to be. All right, so will it be and still or and new? As competitive a title fight as we've had in recent memory. Slight lean for me to the champion, but I could see it going either way. And still, J.A., and still. Because in those key moments, in those big spots, the champion was the one that led the engagements. The champion was the one that led the dance. And I think that's enough to keep the belt around his waist. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib the Eagle, Hermano Mera. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who's going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon. 